أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اليوم نخدم على أفواههم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتشهد أرجلهم وتشهد أرجلهم بما كانوا يكسبون ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبصرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مضيا فما استطاعوا مضيا ولا يرجعون صدق الله العظيم these are verses 65 66 and 67 of surah yasin the previous verses allah tbarak wa taala spoke once again very briefly about one or two of the happenings of the day of qiyama and that is wa mtazu al-yawma ayyuha al-mujrimun that o oh, mujrimun o oh, transgressors now separate yourselves and that separation will be according to iman it will be according to deeds ya allah tbarak wa taala speaks about evidence allah tbarak wa taala speaks about testimony one aspect of it how it would take place on the day of qiyama the translation of the aya al yawma nakhtimu ala afwahihim allah taala says today we shall set a seal on their mouths wa tukallimuna aydihim and the hands shall speak to us wa tashhadu arjuluhum bima kanu yaksibun and the feet shall bear witness to whatever they used to earn whatever they used to earn means whatever deeds they had carried out in this world our nabi karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam is reported to have once smiled sayyidina anas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu says that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave if we may use the term a very mild laugh or a very quiet laugh and then rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked the sahaba do you know why i am smiling or this mild la- la- laugh of mine they replied allah and his rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam no best they upon rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that it is about what a slave will say to his rabb on the day of qiyama he will say to allah taala oh my allah you promise that you shall never oppress fal yawma la tuzlam nafsun shay'a you will never oppress me on the day of qiyama So Allah Taala will reply yes that is my promise so the person will then say to Allah I will not accept any witness against myself except those parts that are part of me those limbs those parts of my body that is part of me that's the only thing that I will accept as evidence as testimony against me perhaps at that point in time the person will not even fathom that this is possible allah subhanahu wa taala will reply that your own self will suffice as a witness against you and then it is at that point in time that his lips will be sealed and it will be said to his limbs now speak so the limbs will begin to testify about the deeds that they had carried out on behalf of this person whether it is the hands whether it is the legs everything will continue to give testimony against this people this person and then allah taala will once again give him the power of speech and he will say to his own organs to his own limbs may you be destroyed it was for your sake that i was making this dispute in the court of allah subhanahu wa taala and in this way our own limbs our own organs of everything of ourselves even our skin will give evidence against us on the day of qiyama now allah tbarak wa taala comes back to this world walaw nasha la tamasna ala a'yunihim fastabaqu as-sirata fa anna yubsirun that in this very world if allah taala so desires allah tbarak wa taala can obliterate allah taala can wipe out our own eyes in other words that eyes that we are looking with more often than not we forget that that sight has been given to us as a very huge gift from allah subhanahu wa taala and we will use that against the commandments of allah subhanahu wa taala then allah taala will say or allah taala could say to a person fastabaqu as-sirat then hasten and find the road the path fa anna yubsirun 
how would they be able to see? Some ulama have expressed that in this world, man has turned a blind eye to the commandments of Allah. Man has turned a blind eye to the signs of Allah. So hence Allah tabarakhu wa ta'ala is using this merely as an example. Otherwise Allah ta'ala can nullify the usage of any one of our limbs or any one of our organs. وَلَوْ نَشَاءُ لَمَسَخْنَاهُمْ عَلَى مَكَانَتِهِمْ Allah ta'ala says if we will, we may transfigure them there and there. عَلَى مَكَانَتِهِمْ on the spot. If Allah ta'ala just wills, Allah ta'ala can change the form of any one of our limbs. That is all in the power of Allah. Then they will be unable to move forward. They will be unable to move backwards. In other words, a person will get stuck exactly where he is. So here in these three ayat, Allah ta'ala speaks about a reality that would take place on the day of Qiyamah. And Allah Ta'ala shows it in this world that if Allah Ta'ala so desires, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala can remove the usage of our limbs or our senses or our organs. May Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala keep us all with khair and afiyat. But the most important thing for us to know and realize that that hisab on the day of Qiyamah is a reality and it is going to happen and we need to prepare for it. May Allah give us the tawfiq. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم جزا الله عنا نبينا محمدا صلى الله عليه وسلم بما هو أهله رضينا بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبسيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسولا ونبيا لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إلا الله 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 